Okay, so it is December 29th, and we're going to do a quick look at everything that's going on <clears throat> in the tent. We've got the two large plants, and they're looking a little bit better. This one's looking a little bit unhealthy on the top, and the leaves are still kind of that chalupa, and they're getting that dark pattern. Uh, let's see if we can step in there and take a look. There's that strange dark pattern we, we keep seeing. Unsure what causes that. However, the plant does seem to be doing okay. There are a couple peppers in there. If you could see them, you'll definitely be able to see that one. That's a Carolina Reaper. That is the hottest pepper in the world, to my knowledge, at the time of recording this. This is another Carolina Reaper plant. It's looking pretty good. Still has somewhat of the same issues as this one. I really hope there isn't some type of pest or disease in the tent, which is just gonna spread to the rest of them. Uh, that would be worst case scenario. We do on this one, we've got some yellowing of the top leaves up here. That's just gonna fall off. This one's probably gonna fall off. So that looks super unhealthy and I'm not sure what causes that. It looks like pests. So we got some issues to work out here. As for the Tiger Bloom versus BioThrive and the little sprouts, not so much sprouts, but <clears throat> the next pepper plants, we've got two doubles and two singles. These are the Tiger Bloom. Those are the BioThrive. In there is a mix of all sorts of Tiger Blooms and BioThrives and the, and the Pequeño Peppers. Um, taking a look into these, these three are the BioThrive. And then these three are the tiger bloom. So it's hard to say what is doing better. I want to say tiger bloom is, but I feel like if I went back and watched the videos, I would not be able to tell. So I would say go with tiger bloom since it's higher phosphorus. And the plants seem to be doing just fine on nitrogen. So these all look pretty healthy. This one looks a little bit bubbly on top. Leaves are a little misshapen, not nice and smooth. Uh, this one looks pretty good all around. This one kind of the same problem as that one. So I think the bubbliness is maybe uh, a nitrogen issue. Uh, these ones, the Tiger Bloom, they look very nice. Uh, this one has a little bit of the, the bubbly coagulated look as the BioThrive ones do, but not as pronounced. And those two at the bottom uh, look great, in my opinion. I think they look great. Uh, however, I did notice some problem, and that problem is this. Yellow leaves. Yellow leaves came off of some of these plants. This leaf came off of this plant. I believe these two leaves came off of this plant. And if you look down there, you could see some type of spotting. Let's see if we can just tug that off. Yep just tugs off so some type of um, problem here a little bit of burn a little bit of blackening here a little bit of yellowing so unsure what could be causing that otherwise the plant looks great however there is mold it seems to be mold in the cocoa so we're either going to um, sequester this or take off the top layer, maybe spray it with some neem oil or something like that. Uh, I haven't seen any more aphids. It's been pretty clear on that front. The pequeño peppers, they're all in soil, these little ones interspaced. Um, we've got doubles, we've got triples. I don't think we have a single, uh, single pequeño pepper. Everything's doubles, this one's a triple. So we're gonna see how doubles and triples go with those. But those are just kind of, um, I'm taking care of them in case the other ones don't pan out. Moving on to this one, these uh, six, looks like it adds up to. I've got the two in Tiger Bloom. They look great, they look great. This one looks huge. Uh, these two look big as well, nice and strong looking. This one has a hell of a, a curve, might need to stake that out. That one's super bushy, super bushy. So I think what we're going to do is we're gonna top both of these and both of those and 
you know, perhaps we shouldn't top them. Perhaps we should not top the doubles and then top the singles because the singles will have more room to spread. If the doubles get topped, they're gonna, they're just gonna be a hell of a canopy that you'd have to direct. Okay, we'll do that. So we'll top the singles. We will not top the doubles. Uh, the doubles of the BioThrive. Again, this like coagulated look is hitting this one pretty hard. So I think that I think that you want to go easy on the bio thrive. I think that's the take home. I think the take home is just go tiger bloom off the bat. But I mean, what do I know? Uh, I'm still trying to decide what I'm going to do with these. If I want to just give them all tiger bloom and keep them going, they seem to be doing fine. I haven't given them any water in a couple days. Uh, it looks, you know, the cocoa's somewhat dry, but I, <clears throat> these plants. These pepper plants in general, Carolina Reapers, they they can dry out. They can dry out pretty nicely and they'll still be fine. It's it's not unheard of to go about a week without watering these, but it's probably just because the tent conditions. So the next thing I have to do is I have to decide uh, which of these live and which of these die and how they die. Uh, we've got one, two, three soil and we're going to overwater one and we're going to underwater another so i think it's going to be this one and this one that one we overwater and one we underwater so we should be able to show you uh what happens when you do either of those and we're going to see just how long a plant can go without water and how quickly you can kill it with too much water the pequeño peppers uh, just ignore them for now. We're not going to do any experiment with them. And that's all I got for now.